Good morning. Welcome to Darwin, Northern Territory at the very northern part of Australia. This morning we will go for a short walk just to show you how close it is from the city centre to the water's edge of the harbour. So the Hilton here is right on Mitchell Street. So we're pretty much in the heart of the city. It's fairly quiet in the morning. Most of the party pubs in the evenings are behind us about 400 metres. Uh, here we, on the right, we've got the new Darwin Hotel and on our left, as we'll walk up a little bit closer to it, is the Deck Bar, uh, which is a good place for a bite and uh, a drink as well. So being December, uh, 10 days out uh, from Christmas, it's still in the build-up uh, to our wet season. We have had some rains, but uh, it's fairly hot and sunny today. So we're just going to cross over onto Herbert uh, Street. And then we will walk over towards the Esplanade. Yep, that's the deck bar in there behind all the trees and the shrubbery. Brand new underground car park just on our left. Okay, so that is on the corner of Herbert uh, and Mitchell. Now this is the, the old original Hotel Darwin. And it is on the corner of the Esplanade and Herbert Street. And I think it was knocked down in the early 90s. Unfortunate, grand old hotel, but it had a lot of uh, issues with the concrete. They call it concrete cancer. Um, they did look at saving it, but unfortunately it had to be bulldozed. But we had some good times in there and a few New Year's Eve parties. So lots of good memories in there. So we're just heading towards the Esplanade and pretty much in front of us will be the Cenotaph and that is where we have Anzac Day and various other military um, commemorations. So the Darwin City Council is trying to add a few more green spaces in the city, a few more trees and lawned areas. There was some talk that there was going to be the RSL built in this car park right in front of us because the old one did burn down in Kavanagh Street oh, possibly three years ago now uh, and they have not rebuilt on that site. They thought perhaps right here on the harbour side uh, would be a good spot but um, I'm not sure if they have got any approvals as such. Okay, these stairs are widely used by people who park uh, down near the deck chair cinema uh, or there's a certain group of people who will exercise on these stairs either at lunchtime or in the later afternoon when it does cool down. A little bit cooler already as we get into the shade and a little bit of breeze coming off the harbour. A 
Now through the magic of Adobe Premiere Pro, it would appear that I'm jogging. But no, I just thought I'd speed it up a little bit. So we get down these uh, stairs a little bit quicker. You could probably do it in a minute if you're actually running it. But no, it's a good good area to come down. A lot of office workers just come for a bit of a stroll. If you're having a stressful day, just come down here. Feels like you're out in the bush. Look at the ocean for a little bit. We're just slowing up a little bit now from our jog. Some of the original larger trees are still here, even though they've carved a few paths uh, through the through the grass. As you can see by the the trees swaying about, nice breeze. I would say it's probably three or four degrees cooler than up on the on the road. So this is Darwin Harbour. It's said to be seven times larger than Sydney Harbour. It's very wide and there are a number of arms uh, that you can go fishing down. Uh, people do catch barramundi and all sorts of other fish. Looks very peaceful today, but uh, back in 1942, um, there's a painting by James Baines, and that's what Darwin Harbour was. When the uh, Japanese bombing occurred, I think it was something like 96 or 97 different raids and uh, most people will tell you it was bombed more than Pearl Harbour but they they never landed here so we're just going for a walk this is where a lot of runoff from the rain will come out So just nice peaceful spot. So yes, in seven or eight minutes you can get from the city centre uh, just down to the harbour side. Just relax and sit in the shade for a little bit. When you're ready, you can uh, go for another jog uh, back up the stairs and head on back to work. Sometimes it does get quite busy in the evenings with people running up and down. All right, so uh, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye.